I tried it several times this morning. Now, let me see. Yeah, here we are. I give you a summary of the feedback. Kind, of what do people think of best for soil? Um, best for soil, we heard, is a network of persons uh, with the goal to share knowledge on soil health, but also to create contact between pe persons. <clears throat> this is very important because if you want to share knowledge, you, call, you can send an email or write something on the a, on a website, but the best way is still to talk to persons. But as you all know, March 2020, COVID arrived. And in fact, we started our activity in sharing information in January 2020. So it was really a bad timing. So we had to go from physical to virtual. Uh, if we heard all these workshops we did on Hopin and other platforms. But collecting receiving feedback, it's 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 still it's more difficult when you are not directly in contact with persons. You don't see the, the reaction of the person, body language, and, and so on. So we <coughs> then switched, of course, to collecting vir in virtual form feedback. We had several possibilities. We, we, we prepared already, before we started our activity, um, a feedback form on, on the website that's down here. On all the sites, you can go on that. It's a, way, a, struct a guided way to give feedback. This was the idea to help people to to go through it to give kind of structured answers also easier for us then to analyze but it's also to encourage people to give answer the second way <coughs> excuse me was to send an email to the best for soil uh, contact address and of course another one which sometimes help, also helps perhaps it's easier because you know the people was to send an email to the facilitators and who who are the facilitators this information was on the website I will focus in my presentation on the feedback we gathered through the feedback form. And this form is because of the general data protection regulation that also started just when we started the project, which also a little bit made it more complicated for us to exchange information, especially between persons. Uh, we collected only two data. We wanted to know what is the activity of the person who gives the feedback, grow, advisor, educate the researcher, journalist, or something else. And what is the country he lives or she lives in? And this was even not an obligation. So most, <clears throat> in the most cases, we also had this answer. The first feedback came 31st of March, 2020. And the last one was 29th January of 2022. So who sent the feedback? Uh, all in all, we received 106 feedbacks through this feedback form, which makes around five per month. Uh, we had feedback from advisor, attention officers, 33, from educated teachers, seven, from growers, 43, journalists, one, researchers, 17, reader, two, a freelancer, that was the, the description, one and two students. So the biggest group were the growers, with 41 percent and the second biggest group were the advice extension officers so all in all practitioners they are 76 72 percent now you have the answer to my question this is of course what we hoped for we hoped that we we can really reach and share knowledge and receive knowledge back from practitioners so where came the feedback from? It's not 197 countries like we heard today, people go on the website, but 23 countries. At least we have information on 23 countries. And <clears throat> most of them, of course, are countries of the e European Union, 87%. There were feedback from two more European countries, not in the EU from Serbia and from Switzerland. I have to say in both countries, we also had facilitators who were involved to contact persons. America four, but two of the Latin America, quite interesting, perhaps because our information also in Spanish. And then we had quite some, some without any indications. But what is interesting, 
95% of the feedback came from countries where people don't speak English. And I think is is a confirmed our decision to translate our material in, in all languages, uh, European languages at least. Because I think the if it would have been only in English, I don't think we would have had the same feedback, especially not from the same persons. Feedback on videos. Most people found them useful, nearly all of them, and also com comprehensible. Uh, 23 persons gave feedback to the videos, 22% of all the participants. There's just sometimes you have comments, so this was interesting comment, excellent information. I would like to study more about compost chemistry and microbiology, research from Guatemala. The feedback on fact sheets, also considered as useful and comprehensible, but there was less, much less feedback on the fact sheets. There were 10 persons giving feedback. There, for example, was this feedback, needs a fact sheet on inundation, excellent idea. And in fact, we are preparing a video on fact sheet on inundation. That was this one. I was surprised that there was no information hemp in the crop rotation fact sheet. Hemp has excellent phytosanitary and regenerative properties for the soil from a grower from Portugal. We try to make the fact sheets not too long so that people read it. The fact sheet on, on crop rotation was already quite long, so we could not include everything. But in the, the hemp is in the databases, so at least you can use get information there on hemp. Feedback on nematode database. I first take this one because that's, as mentioned by Harm before already, is based on the Altis Schema database. So also here, good, info, good good feedback, useful and easy to use because here we ask if it's easy to use or not if it's comprehensible um, uh, or at least partially useful and tricky to use. We had 18 persons giving feedback, 70%. There was a comment, additional info on tree cultivation would be useful. Uh, that's perhaps because the, the Dutch uh, the, the basic nematodes had this already included. So I think, and as we continue to develop the database, um, <coughs> this could be something that we will add. And that was the funny thing. <laughs> I liked it. Can the cultures be better translated into German? grow from germany that's we see multilingual is not only different languages like french german italian polish it's different german versions of german i am a swiss we have austrian partners german partners we don't always use the same names but the fact we had the idea perhaps to make a fact sheet with the names on it so that everybody can find the right name of his crop feedback for on the pathogen database this was the one that had the least best results. Uh, it was also going to be useful, but more partially useful or even not useful. And same for the use, it was more 29% tricky to use and difficult to use for one person, or I think it's one person. Uh, we had from 22 person feedback, 21%, so more than on the nematode database. There we had also some comments. I, I just chose some of them. In the catch crop is missing all seed radish as an essential crop for potatoes. That's one of these points. We did not say all seed radish, but just radish. So that's perhaps a comprehension problem. And then make the databases easier to use. I think this will be the case because we are really working on that and we will continue to work on that. You will hear more about the databases and the future of the databases later on. Now on the four best practices, feedback on the use of green manure. I, the first time I will explain it in detail and the next time you will understand it uh, because it's always the same way I explain it. So feed, green manure is best for soil, 71 persons gave their feedback, 86% of them know it, knew it or know it and 14 did not know it. Not surprising, I think feed, green manure cover crops is a quite well known best practice. From the one who knew it, 70% use it and 30 don't use it. For the one who did not know it, uh, or no, 30, who knew it but did not use it, now 81% will use it. So from the 30%, 81 in the future will use it. Good thing. So apparently we can, could motivate these persons to use it in the future. And finally, 
from the one who did not you know it, from this 14%, <clears throat> now 90 of them will use it in the future. Um, so what this, I have to explain a little bit so it's clearly understandable. 61% are the 70% of the 86% who knew it, who use it. So the people who use it, that's initial use. Final use or will use it, final use or will use it are the people who knew it but did not use it but will use it in the future or people who did not know it but will use it. So the use of green use will go up from 61 to 92%. So it's a 51% increase. That's good news. So more people are using. Now compost, it's a very similar situation. Many people know it. Even here, less people who know it use it, but people who did not use it, who knew it will now use it. Also, good, good thing. And for people who did not know it, will nearly all of them will use it in the future. So here we have a 84% increase. Of the, of the use of this best practice. Biosolarization. Again, always around 70 person, person who participated here, 72. Um, not surprisingly, only one third of the person knew it. And from them, a little bit more than half use it. But now for them who knew it but did not use it, 73% will use it in the future. And from the person <clears throat> who did not know it, um, 65 to a third will use it. This is an amazing 236% increase huh, from 21% to 70%. And again, similar here, AST of 70 person is very similar. Only one third knew it. Even less person here use it from the one who knew it. But some will now use in the future and really interesting from the one who did not know it or, uh, the, the 65 percent nearly 80 percent will use in the future which ends up in a more than fourfold increase of the use of this method uh, sorry this way <laughs> so conclusions 70 percent feedback came from practitioners and 87 percent came from EU countries so I think this was the goal the goal was to reach practitioners and of course to reach persons in the EU the feedback was mostly given on on videos and then on pathogen database nematode database and fact sheets which shows I think for me that video is a new a relatively new way to to transmit in to share knowledge and was, high, was appreciated. All this material was considered as useful to at least 73% as comprehensible, the fact sheets and the videos at least for 86%. Uh, easy to use, the pattern database, you still have to work on that. It's you know, only 67%, but still more than half. Green menus and compost were known, not really surprising, um, but there will be an increase enough for use. And biosolarization ASD, the anaerobic soil station, similar was not that, no, not similar, <laughs> was less known, and there will be a huge increase of use in the future. So, what can we say? I would say best for sort of works. We, we, what we wanted is to spread, to promote best practices uh, to increase or maintain soil health, to improve the soil health. Uh, we, the tools we used are good and the methods we promoted are also good. And with that, I thank you for your attention and I'm happy to answer your answer. Ah, yes, we have the result of the poll. So less than 30%, 28% answered to this. So it's less between 30 and 70%, 47% and more than 70%. 25%. So I would say you underestimate the best for soil. And you see, only one quarter thinks that we had more than 70%. No, we did it. And that's, I think, is a, also a very good motivation to continue with this network in the future. So thank you again for your attention. 
Thank you very much, Vincent, for that overview. Um, yeah, first of all, we have a question in the chat. Um, um, a question is, uh, why is there no database yet for the Americas? For the Americas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> um, perhaps because they don't belong to the European Union. <laughs> I mean, that's it's just the EU project, so we, we focused on EU. The, idea is that we had one of the board members, he's American, who also said he would like to, to use this in the Americas. I think we have to adapt it, especially uh, the, the species, the plants, and especially if you go to whole America, Latin America, not always the same plants, and sometimes also the, 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 the environment is not always the same, but I think, I think they can use it, in, at least in some regions, already now. I don't think you have to adapt it. And it's in English and in Spanish and in Portuguese, so it shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. I um, had perhaps just one, I had those contacts to Morocco, and I think this would be interesting, Northern Africa, because also they they involve those in, in trade, with, especially for vegetables we, with the EU, and I think it would be interesting to motivate them to use more sustainable methods to produce their food, which they will uh, export to Europe. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you for maybe like one or two take home messages, two important aspects you want to share with the crowd before we go to the next. I will show you will ask this question. So I prepared myself. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> I think I think the, the take home lesson for me it was the, the, the success of the videos. I, I, I was always a fan of them. I think it's, it's very good. And especially with COVID, you know, just before we started the project, I made a few years before I made a survey in Switzerland with growers say, when you have a problem, where do you, who do you ask for a solution? And so first, where did you get information? First was other growers and devices. Okay, so that's why we had facilitators. In the, but then we also added the, feed, the, the videos as a means and it was not that popular. But I think the videos have the advantage over a fact sheet that it's a little bit like uh, uh, interaction with somebody. You listen to somebody who tells you, explains you. You don't have to read, you know, a, 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 yeah, a fact sheet that is a little bit boring and not always very clear. So, and I think videos for, for that purpose is an excellent means of communication. And I think we should use it more, perhaps have a kind of EU video channel. I mean, there are uh, something, but so in the evening, the growers facilitate, the, the practitioners, they sit in front of the TV and instead of after watching the news, they will watch two, three videos on the EU TV channel, on fork to table channel, for example. Yeah, okay, uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, if and if somebody uh, wants to know something about um, the control of soil borne diseases and the alternative control methods, uh, you can, they can also get in contact with you since you are working on this field since 18 years at Acroscope. So, Wanted to yes. mention that now you get thousand mails or something. <laughs> Could happen. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very much, and 